What's up, YouTube? My name is Spike Man Dan. Of course, you all know who I am. And salute to everybody watching. So it turns out I have a dilemma, and we'll get to that in just a second. Stick around. Alrighty, so as you can see here, we got the Coleman CT100U. And it's missing its gas tank for an obvious reason. Oh, oh, China doesn't know how to weld shit. As I was writing, these mounts completely snapped off. You got a mount there, a mount there, and a mount there. And I still have the broken parts bolted to the engine and all that good stuff. And I'm actually trying to ask for help from my subscribers. If anybody knows where I can get a replacement gas tank for the CT100U stock 3 horsepower engine, please leave a comment in a description of the website in my uh, comment section. I am, I'm, I'm already online trying to search for a replacement tank and all they got is just nothing but the CT200U replacement tanks. I've searched Hot Rod Mini Bikes, I've searched eBay, I have literally, I don't know if I'm expanding my horizons enough, but yeah. But if everybody would like to know what's going on with the uh, 212 I got going on, I just managed to figure out the whole emission system for the, uh, the valve cover oil tube. What I'm going to do with that is I'm going to actually drill a hole into the side of this. I'm going to run that right back here so I do not have to buy a filter for this. It's going to have its emissions right back into the carburetor, which is way better. You want to burn off all that pollution as much as possible. And I also got rid of some of the unusual tags on this engine. I also got rid of the throttle... The governor, the throttle governor control arm took that straight off because with this carburetor, the Makuni style, you don't need all that nonsense. But yeah, this is a carburetor I got from Hot Rod Mini Bike. It's exactly like the Makuni, it's just not the Makuni. And it has a pretty good look to it. It is the, uh, the 22 millimeter VM. And it'll do this engine nicely. But like I said, um, back to the gas tank issue. This is a big upset. I was just riding down the road and all of a sudden, BAM! The gas tank's falling off. What a huge upset. I am, I am very upset at this. I, I've tried to look at certain ways I could try to remount that on there, but then it just... I would have to get rope or tape or zip tie. I don't want to do that. That's just, that's not my style. Spike Man does not do ghetto. I ride the ghetto, but I do not do ghetto. So, that's my take on that. So yeah, that's what's going on with the CT100U that I got. The gas tank epically failed on me thanks to China's cheap crap welding job and their flimsy ass freaking motor gas tank mounts like they're paper thin uh, I'm sure anybody could look at that and be like hmm Spike Man's got a point what if I have a CT100U and I'm mobbing the hell out of it and I'm thrashing down some dirt road and my gas tank lobs off it's going to eventually guaranteed if you look at the mounts on yours they're no flimsier than mine so look out for that if you're really thrashing down the road going 100 miles an hour or whatever, you know, I got my governor removed entirely, so it's just a matter of time before that thing vibrates itself loose. So if there's any subscribers out there who could help a brother out, please leave a comment on where or what website you know that actually has the, re the stock replacement gas tank. I'm looking hard and I'm searching wide. Any help I can get would be greatly appreciated. My name is Spike Man Dan. I salute you all and I thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe as always. Spike Man out.